Let's discuss the probability of an event not occurring or the probability of the complement of E. If we know P of E, the probability of an event E, then we can determine the probability that the event will not occur denoted by P of not E. The probability that an event E will not occur is equal to 1 minus the probability that it will occur. That means that if you want to compute P of not E, this is just equal to P of E subtracted from 1. Also, the probability that an event E will occur is equal to 1 minus the probability that it will not occur. So P of E is also equal to 1 minus P of not E. Now using set notation, if E prime is the complement of E, then P of E prime is equal to 1 minus P of E and P of E is equal to 1 minus P of E prime. To illustrate this concept, let's take a look at the following example. If you are dealt one card from a standard 52 card deck, find the probability that you are not dealt a queen. To solve this, we will use the formula that the probability of not E is equal to 1 minus the probability of E, where E is the event. In this case, the event is dealt a queen. So we are looking for the probability of not dealt a queen, and that is computed by subtracting the probability of being dealt a queen from 1. So to answer this, we will first compute the probability of being dealt a queen. You have 52 cards in total. That is now the total possible outcomes. And also, out of 52 cards, you have 4 queens. So therefore, the probability of being dealt a queen is equal to 4 over 52, which is also equal to 1 over 13. Subtracting 1 over 13, the probability of being dealt a queen from 1, you get the probability of not dealt a queen. And that is equal to 13 over 13, because 1 can be written as 13 over 13, minus 1 over 13, that's equal to 12 over 13. Let's discuss the probability of either of two mutually exclusive events occurring. In probability theory, two events are said to be mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time or simultaneously. In other words, mutually exclusive events are disjoint events. That means that the probability of both events occurring at the same time will be zero. So if A and B are said to be mutually exclusive events, then the probability of an event A occurring or the probability of event B occurring can be computed by just adding the probability of A and the probability of B. So probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. To illustrate this, let's consider this example. If one card is randomly selected from a deck of cards, what is the probability of selecting a king or a queen? To get the probability of selecting a king or a queen, we will first get the probability of selecting a king and then find the probability of selecting a queen and then add the two probabilities. Now the probability of selecting a king is equal to 4 over 52 because we have 4 kings and we have 52 cards in total in a standard deck of cards. Similarly, the probability of selecting a queen is also 4 over 52 because we have 4 queens from 52 cards in a standard deck of cards. 
Now adding these two probabilities, we get 8 over 52, which we can simplify as 2 over 13. Next, we will consider events that are not mutually exclusive. When you say events that are not mutually exclusive, we are referring to events that can occur at the same time or they can occur simultaneously. For probabilities with events that are not mutually exclusive, we can compute the probability by adding the individual probabilities and then subtracting the probability that A and B occur simultaneously. So in other words, the probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A and B. This is the probability that A and B will occur at the same time. Now using the set notation, the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. For example, in a group of 25 baboons, 18 enjoy grooming their neighbors, 16 enjoy screeching wildly, while 10 enjoy doing both. If one baboon is selected at random, find the probability that it enjoys grooming its neighbors or screeching wildly. Now notice that 10 of the baboons enjoy both grooming their neighbors and screeching wildly. This suggests that these events are not mutually exclusive. Now since the two events are not mutually exclusive, the probability that the baboon selected enjoys grooming its neighbors or screeching wildly can be computed as follows. The probability of grooming or screaming is equal to the probability that the baboon selected enjoys grooming its neighbors plus the probability that a baboon selected enjoys screeching wildly minus the probability that a baboon enjoys both. First, let's get the probability that a baboon selected enjoys grooming its neighbor. That is equal to 18 over 25 because 18 of the 25 baboons enjoy grooming. Also, the probability that a baboon selected enjoys screeching wildly is equal to 16 over 25 because 16 of the 25 baboons enjoy screeching. The probability that the baboon selected enjoys both is equal to 10 over 25 because 10 of the 25 baboons enjoy both grooming its neighbors or screeching wildly. We have 18 plus 16 minus 10 divided by 25 and that is equal to 24 over 25. Probability to odds. The odds in favor of E are found by taking the probability that E will occur and dividing by the probability that E will not occur. Similarly, the odds against E are found by taking the probability that E will not occur and dividing the probability that E will occur. The odds against E can also be found by reversing the ratio representing the odds in favor of E. For example, you roll a single die, a six-sided die. Find the odds in favor of rolling a two. Now, if E represents the event of rolling a two, find the probability of E occurring and the probability of E not occurring. Now, the set of equally likely outcomes for rolling a six-sided die is given by this set here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are all the possible outcomes. B is rolling a two. E is the set containing two. 
Therefore, the probability of rolling a 2 is just equal to 1 over 6. We have only one 2, and then we have 6 different possible outcomes. So probability of E is equal to 1 6. The probability of not E can be computed by subtracting 1 6 from 1. So 1 minus 1 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Therefore, the odds in favor of rolling a 2 is just equal to probability of E divided by the probability of not E. Probability of E divided by the probability of not E is equal to 1 6 divided by 5 6. And that is also the same as 1 6 times, get the reciprocal of the denominator, we have 6 over 5. Multiplying this two, canceling the 6 here, you get 1 fifth. If the odds in favor of event E are A to B, then the probability of the event is given by the formula here. The probability of E is equal to A divided by A plus B. To illustrate this, let's look at this example. The odds in favor of a particular horse winning a race are 2 to 5. What is the probability that this horse will win the race? Now because the odds in favor A to B means A over A plus B, then the odds in favor 2 to 5 means a probability of 2 divided by 2 plus 5, which is equal to 2 over 7. If you look at the given here, this 2 here is in favor that that particular horse is winning. This is the number of favorable outcomes. Since we have 5 that are against, so therefore the total possibilities will be 5 plus 2. 2 are in favor and 5 are against. So therefore the probability that this horse will win the race is 2 over 7. Thank you.